All right. Welcome, friends, children of all ages. Uh, God's blessings to you this day as we begin a great beginning of a new project here at Faith Lutheran. And, you know, kids, uh, especially, um, it's so good to see you. And today, what you will need in our series called the Illuminated Catechism. First, you need your book that you have right here. Oops. Right? You need your book. You need your Bible. Do you have a Bible at home? If you can get that out as well, if you can have that handy as we as we do that as well. So have your book. Have your Bible. This is my Bible. And also have some uh, type of coloring utensil or instrument, uh, such as uh, these that my daughter gave me this morning, uh, like colored pencils um, of all colors. Um, as we dig in today, as we will color together and really talk about as we color, um, well, who is the giver of all things? And who do we trust as we live in this life as children of God? Who do we trust? And um, here we will go at it. So again, color pencils, your book, and also your Bible. Let us begin with prayer this day. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for being the giver of all things, for the birds in the airs and, and the lilies of the field. And for us, O oh Lord, as you continue to care for us, by your love, by your mercy, and by your grace shown to us in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Bless us this day as we fear, love, and trust in you above all things. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Again, as we as we do this, uh, kids, I really want you to uh, really uh, set aside this as a quiet time. So have everything else off. Just be at a quiet time. Maybe it's at your desk, in your room, or in the living room, with everything just quiet as we just focus in on this time together. Um, in the Illuminated Catechism and, well, dwell upon who God is for us. So let's have a quiet time together as we draw and uh, and uh, really are reminded as we are taught uh, who God is for us. All right. So uh, beginning today, as we see it, what does it say right there? Luke 22, 22 to 31 the birds and the lilies. And I'm gonna read uh, uh, an excerpt there for you. And if you can have your Bibles out, Matthew, Mark, Luke, that is the third chapter or third book of the New Testament. And here it reads, if you have your Bible out, if you can turn to it, Luke chapter 12, verses 22 to 31. It says right here, about do not be anxious. And he said to his disciples, therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat, nor about your body, what you will put on. For life is more than food and the body more than clothing. Consider the ravens, they neither sow nor reap. They have neither storehouse nor barn, and yet God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? And which of you being anxious can add a single hour to his span of life? We'll jump a little bit forward. Verse 27, consider the lilies, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Verse 28, but if God so clothes the grass, which is alive in the field today, and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, how much more will he clothe you? The birds... I love coloring too, Kathy, so thank you for joining us. The birds and the lilies, as God provides for them, as we read in Luke chapter 12, how much more value do you have? Now, as we turn, again, as you uh, turn to your uh, book here, um, we see all these colorings. Now, when you have time, it says, 
this catechism illuminated by, I want you to put your name. So why don't we put our name there? And my name is Pastor Ernie Jung. So kids of all ages, please put your name here as you will remember who drew all these great pictures. All right. So as we continue on page six, page six, this is our focus today, page six. Are you ready? Do you have that out? Have this out, have your color pencils out and have your Bible out uh, to what we were just talking about right now about the birds of the air and the lilies of the field, how God provides for them. And how much more of a value, how much you are worth to God, how much he loves you and cares for you and provides for you. As page six shows us who our God is. Now, why don't we read this together? The first commandment, you shall have no other gods. What does this mean? We should fear, love, and trust in God above all things. I'll read this for you. Please follow along. Maybe use your finger and follow along with the words or read along with me together. The heart is a clinging vine, persistently creeping, seeking a sustaining source. That's the key word today. Source. What does source, S-O-U-R-C-E, what does source mean it means where everything comes from the source where everything comes from can you repeat after me the source is where everything comes from when the source is found it clings attaching itself with bonds of trust and devotion god desires to be our sustaining source that means sustaining means to be the one who feeds us the one who provides and gives everything to us so from where everything comes this is the one who provides for us and what does he provide an eternal fountain gushing forth nothing but good uh, we'll continue on here the next paragraph we'll skip along a little bit the first commandment teaches us about God's promise of provision. It is a covenant between the source of all good things and the creation God made. It is a call, the first commandment is, to trust in God alone. God is saying, trust me. I am the God who has delivered you. It is a call to seek his blessing, to seek them in and through his creation, in and through his creatures but to never confuse the good we receive with the source of all that is good. In this commandment, God invites us to cling, cleave, and trust in him, to securely attach ourselves with all our heart to him, the trustworthy source. Source is the key word today. Source, that for the birds and the lilies and for you, God is the source. Now, as you get your uh, coloring pencils out, I want you to look at this picture here on, on the next page, if you see right there, and, and we will start to draw together. Now, what I want you to draw is, well, as we look at it, as we look at this picture, um, what first I want you to draw uh, the source. The source that would make the trees live and grow and also the birds to, to live and be healthy. What is the source in this picture? What is the source? Where does everything come from? Or what do the birds and the trees, where do they go to live? And the source in this picture is, of course, the fountain right here, the fountain. So why don't we draw the fountain? And I don't expect you to finish this all in one swoop. Uh, you're gonna have time on your own, or you can even press pause here, uh, not for those that are live, but for those that are at home, you can press pause and just continue to draw. But I'm gonna draw for you a little bit. And as I draw, we're gonna talk about God's word. 
All right. So we see the fount of every blessing here. And as we draw in the fountain, well, we draw it blue because the fountain is filled with water. The water that is provided by God's love for you, that he provides for you in every which way. That he gives you water, that he gives you uh, your house, your home, your land, your animals, and all that you have. And he does this not because you earned it, but because he just loves you out of his own fatherly divine goodness. That's how much he loves you. And when I'm drawing this water, it reminds me with my eyes of faith as I see these droplets of water as I'm drawing it, how God does provide for us, for the birds of the air and for the lilies of the field and for the trees and all that is in it. We thank the Lord for all that he has done. And there... Here, I am drawing, as I'm reminding of myself, that God gives us all the water. So that's why I'm using blue, because water is blue. And here we have it. And my drawing probably isn't as good as yours, kids. <sighs> but trust me, pastor is trying his best. Apologies beforehand. But here we are. Oh, the bottom as well. See, the source. God gives us all things. And he provides everything for us. God is from where everything comes. And you know, for the Israelites, God delivered them from the evil hands of Pharaoh. Not because they earned it, but by his love, he rescued them. Because he is the source. He is the giver of all things where everything comes. All right. So, so far, this is what I have. I don't know if you see it. And in your spare time, I want you to draw in the fountain with all these different colors. And, well, uh, dwell upon how everything comes from God. Now, what I want you to do is... Look at the email link down below in your YouTube picture and ask your parents to send me a screenshot of your final masterpiece. And somehow we will show them in future episodes. But remember that. Go to my email, click down below in the YouTube section, prjung at faithmorepark.com. And there, tell your parents to take a, a, a picture and send it in so that somehow we can display them for other people to see. Get it? So this is just a glimpse of where the source is. And today, in the first commandment, you shall have no other gods. There we trust in the source from where everything comes. What is the source? From where everything comes from. And that is God. And therefore, we should fear, love, and trust in God above all things. Now, there's a source. And when we look at it, the other things in this picture, what do we see? Who or what relies upon this source? I want you to draw in that for me right now. If you could do that, what are some things here that, that trust or that need the water to live? Why don't you start drawing those as well? And I'll do that for you as well. You know, right now, oh, I shouldn't use blue because I'm using blue for water. How dare I? I guess we'll go with the purple one, I guess. As I look at the birds, I don't know. Do you ever look at the birds in the air and say, wow, how do they continue to live? I know at church we have all these birds in the bushes, and um, they were there perched up actually on the window there one day. And I looked at them and said, Lord, you provide for these birds. You know, you give to them life. You give them food. And, well, for me, Lord, you actually provide for me as well. You know, sometimes when you look at things um, in this world and you are reminded that, well, God provides for them. And also it's a reminder 
that God provides for you and for me. Wow, my bird looks really colorful. I'm not sure if this is what birds look like, but you know, that's why art is great. You know, you just kind of make your own thing and you say, yeah, so what, right? Anyways, so as we continue to draw, um, here we see you guys, as we look at the birds of the air, how the Lord provides for them. And thanks be to God, that he provides for so many things of this world because he is the source. What colors are you using for your birds? Um, I'm using like purple and I guess brown and dark blue. I don't know if that, man, this is not turning out well for me. I'm not, I'm definitely not uh, color matching here. Uh, sorry, kids. I know you're probably doing a such a stupendous job with this and, and be careful and, and patient actually. And, and kind of decorate this in so many different ways. If you could see it right here, I don't know about you, but I'm uh, mine is coming out to be very unique, but in a good way. But it's pretty cool, you know? I, I don't know. I, I think about birds, kids, and I'm like, you know, Lord, you provide for them. Thanks be to God, Lord, for providing for them. And now as we move on from the birds, what else does this water, the source, provide for? That's right, the trees. So look at the trees. And again, kids, uh, after this is over, I want you to finish this. And again, send me in a, a picture. Ask your parents, send me in an email, a picture of what you have done. And I'm gonna post it somehow, some way uh, on our website or on this, on this, uh, on a future episode here in the Illuminated Catechism. So right now, what about, so we have the birds, and what about the, what, what else needs water here? Of course, it's the plants and the trees. So why don't we uh, continue on with that and draw very carefully. And I want you to take your time here. Because as you look at these pictures, friends, and as I look at them, I thank the Lord that he has created all things. This is why God is our source that he creates all things, he makes all things, and he also provides for all things, including the trees in the ground and the birds of the air. And as we draw the tree, here we see that God continues to provide. And I don't know when you, if you go to the park or not, but when I go to the park and I see all the trees, it's always a reminder I want you to do this next time you go out on a walk or go out on a bike, bike trip to look at the trees and say, God, you made those. You continue to keep them strong. And you give them leaves and growth and fruit. What is your favorite food, kids? Um, Elliot, my son, would say avocado or tomato. He likes like the, the fruit that's not really fruit, but they're fruit, you know? <laughs> Does that make sense? The avocado and tomato, that's his favorite. He could probably eat guacamole all day. I think because he comes from me, because I could eat guacamole all day. But what is your favorite fruit that you take off the tree or pluck off the tree? And here we see, as we look at the tree, how God does provide the rain, the sun, the soil, that God provides the growth for this tree, all by his creative hand. Think about that. I don't know, sometimes we don't, we don't stop and think and say, wow, thank you, Lord. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made that the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in him and be glad in him. Say it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I think it's we. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made.
indeed. All right. So I'm almost done with an example for you. And in a little bit, we will conclude this coloring portion. But again, what do I say? After you're done with this whole picture, do it beautifully to the best of your ability. And I want you to think about as you draw how God provides for you as the one true source, that he is the one who gives you all things. And what does he give you? Think about that. Look at your parents. That's who he gave you. Look at your, 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 your feet, your arms, your eyes. This is what God has given you as he has made you. Right? You look at your friends, your school, your teachers. This is who God has given you. And um, here we see the picture of how God continues as we draw these pictures, provide for us, right? And um, man, this is fun. I don't want to stop. We'll go on for a couple more minutes here. Uh, but I know this is going to take a little bit longer. When you, we are done with this episode, I want you to take the time to draw it beautifully. And again, send it in. Click on the link below, prjung at faithmorepark.com, and tell your parents to um, send it in. And I'll try to post it somehow, some way, on a future episode. All right? Very cool. All right. So as we almost conclude this abbreviated, the short portion of our our coloring today of the Illuminated Catechism. This is what I came up with. I know yours is a lot better, but the picture reminds us every time we see a bird, we say, that's right. God provides for them because he is the one true God. We see the trees. Yes, God provides for them through the water, through the sun, through the soil, through the air, because he is the one true God, the source of all things, right? And as you draw this, and I want you to finish it in your time, just take the time and finish it. I want you to remember and thank the Lord for all that he gives, because he is, as we read in the catechism here, the trustworthy source, right? You know, friends, God says you shall have no other gods because every other God is, well, false. And that means not really God. There is only one true God that gives you all things. And that is our Lord. You know, all the little gods, all the, all the not true gods or all the false or the not really gods, uh, they don't, they might seem to give us what we want, but yet at the end of the day, they, they do not give us what our Lord gives to us. Our Lord gives you his life. Or our Lord, yeah, our Lord gives you life. Uh, he gives you uh, all that you have. But he also gives you, as everything comes from him, your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He sends his son to die for you, providing for you his very blood to die for you on the cross that God gives you, as we look at um, his resurrection, the victory over sin, death, and the power of the devil. Even as we look at the fountain here, what it should remind you of, water. I know you all have been in water. I'm not talking about the pool or the ocean, but I'm talking about the font, the baptismal font, where there in the water and word, God calls you to be his own. And that's always a reminder of how God is the source of all things from where everything comes. So the next time uh, that you, or as you finish this drawing, I want you to think about that. that. That's right. Everything comes from God. And every time you go out on your walk and you see a bird or the tree or the water fountain at the mall or, or, or at the park, say, thank you, Lord, because you give me all things. And there, that is why we fear, love, and trust in God above all things, right? All right. Uh, why don't we stop there today? Again, I want you to finish this coloring uh, page. And I know there's a lot to do here, but take your time and, and make it awesome and tell your parents. And if you're not a parent and you're just um, an older child, maybe you're 30, 40, 50, or 60, a child of God, uh, please send that in to me as we will post these on future episodes some way, somehow. I know our 
uh, I know Jeff will somehow figure that out for me, right, Jeff? Thank you. But other than that, um, hopefully this goes well with you. Hopefully you had a good time. And join me next week for another culling session as we go on to the second commandment. The birds and the lilies. How much more value are you if God provides for them? You are the greatest value for him, for you, or you are for God. He values you so much that he gives you Jesus. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for these children. Bless them and keep them in all that you provide. Bless them in this faith, knowing that you are the trustworthy source from where everything comes. Lead them and guide them in your word and bless them in Christ Jesus. Lord, for all these things we're thankful. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, friends, thank you for joining me in the Illuminated Catechism. I hope you had a good time. And again, finish that picture, send it in, and we'll somehow post it. It's going to be great. Anyways, until next time, this is Pastor Jung here at Faith Lutheran Church in Moore Park, California. Love you all. Praying for you all. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day. And until next time, as we always say here at Faith, adios. Goodbye.